What is going on, y'all? It is Far Gas here. Hopefully, you're having a great, wonderful day out there in the wasteland. Friends, today we're going to be talking about the Atomic Shop update, and it looks like that we're going to have the Fallout first trial, as we can see right here. Also, tonight, I'm going to try to have the limited time offer video done as quick as possible because Red Dead Redemption came out on the PC. Finally, I'm so excited for that. We're going to try to stream a little bit of it tonight, but yes, like we were talking about recently, the Fallout first first trial usually comes around the fallout day celebration or fallout 76's birthday and it looks like it is this week now the great thing about this is you get access to a scrap box you get access to the ammo box and you do get your score boost so if you have not finished up the scoreboard or if you have finished up the scoreboard remember that 10 percent goes to your dailies goes to your weeklies so that's absolutely amazing and as well the red mr fuzzy team Tinker's Workbench gets unlocked for you. All you got to do is just get that trial. Another great thing about this trial is you should be absolutely grinding out Fallout 76 this week. If you don't have Fallout 76, the Fallout First trial, uh, well, if you don't have Fallout First, you should definitely be grinding out during this trial because you can put in stuff into the ammo box and the scrap box, junk and ammo alike. And once the trial ends, you can still pull stuff out of there but you cannot put stuff in unless you have Fallout first. So this is absolutely amazing to me. Looks like we've got, I think this is, I don't remember this train station, but 1,500 atoms. The Slocum's Brown Logo Stool, the Joe Roadside Attraction, the Neon Sign. Ooh, that's actually really cool. Um, the Classic Stool, the Do, <laughs> Do Not Touch. <laughs> Why is wordplay so funny sometimes? Um, the slipping station, the Slocum's pink cup stool, the Slocum's Joe's trash bin stash box. Oh man, oh man, this is actually pretty cool. Like if you're a Slocum Joe's fan, yeah, you're gonna pick this up. And I do like that that matches the pink sprinkles. So if you've got the pink sprinkles power armor, you could put a display up. You could you could pretty much have a, you know. Oh man, thinking about it. Oh, I'm thinking about it, y'all. I'm gonna be real, I'm gonna be real with you. Like, it, is that is that thing of donuts there? Also, I still think I think it's still crazy how the prices are <laughs> like on the advertisement and stuff. Large coffee and a jelly donut, thirty dollars. Let's go. You know, if you know, I I'm down with it. But I'm I may get it. I don't know. I don't know. Slogan Survivor outfit bundle for twelve hundred. The soda fountain globe, Nuka Cola sleeping bag, Slocum's Joe plushie, the donut box loot bag the slocum survivor headwear and the slocum survivor outfit now i yeah some of this stuff i think i think this is older stuff now the question i have is i didn't see anything about a coffee machine that we're seeing right there in that photo i'm not seeing that one yet it's on the picture. I wish they wouldn't put stuff that's not in the like advertising, like for the photos and stuff like that. I really wish they would just kind of limit that to what's in the actual bundle in its own right. But yeah, always, always, always read the descriptions and don't just go off of the photos. But then we got the Daring Adventure Bundle, and this is probably from the school board as well. 1400 Yep. Okay. Yep. So we've got the Smoke Bear Arm Paint, the Daring Jet Pack, the Adventure Secret Service Under Armor, and the Daring Adventure Pip-Boy Paint. Now, if you miss this off of the school board, um, it, it's really, if you're into it, I do love this jet pack. It's the one that I constantly use, but remember, you have to know how to, uh, you have to know how to make the jet pack to have this. This is just a skin. Um, but let's see, we got the Grease Goblin paint for 1500 Um, no, no, I'm not, I'm, I think I have this one, but I, I bought it on a sale. I'm definitely not spending 1500 uh, atoms, which is 15 bucks on a power armor. Um, but then let's see, we've still got the Great War stuff, which is still a great sale to me, especially if you've missing some of this stuff, 25 to 50% off a lot of things that a lot of folks are wanting. Then we have the Ghostly Incineration, which is the last week's bundle, and we still got 13 days on it. The Greatest Hits. Oh, okay. 
So the mine bundle, this comes with some stuff. This is an old scoreboard uh, bit as well. The mine recruitment poster, Nuka Cola poster, the Gatlin, uh, the laser Gatlin paint, the propaganda poster, the Velox, uh, the Overlord backpack flare. So I actually have the majority of this. I don't know if I have these signs, and I'm definitely going to pick those up. Uh, then we have Mall Ally Bundle. And remember the thing about um, buying stuff from the Atomic Shop um, is that it's uh, tied to your entire account and not just your character like Gold Bullion would be. Um, then we have Feel the Music Bundle, Rockabilly Outfit, which is something a lot of folks like. And, you know, I, I think I have this. I think I bought it. The, yeah, I bought it the last time it was on a bundle. Uh, Death Tambo Skin. Uh, modern ceiling fan, black paint, uh, skull drum set, air guitar pose, uh, resonator guitar, and classic performance stage, which has been on the limited time offers uh, deal. But again, it's one of those things that, to me personally, if you've been looking for this, you're definitely going to pick it up. Then we have the junkyard power armor paint, which still to me, tell me, let me know in the comment section, does this look like the robot from Judge Dredd? I mean, it does to me. It absolutely does to me. Uh, it's 50% off as well for the Treetop Daredevils outfit. 30% uh, off the high-tech stash. 30% uh, off of the suit of armor. 50% uh, off of the vault Tech pajamas, which is... That, I don't think I've... I don't think I have that. I think I'm going to pick those up. Um, I like I like that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not bad. Oh, the Fnatic Auto... Oh, yeah. This thing's cool. I like that. That came out with the uh, pit... Uh, season, so I'm I'm down with that being there, but yeah, I, I absolutely love that. This is another atomic sale. We got like six days left on it. Um, definitely a lot of good sales in here. Let's see, I think it's all 25% off, so not as much of a deal, but there are some deals with this. Uh, so we still got. Oh yeah, this is the second week to the spooky scorch. That's right. Um, then we have the Mothman found, which is always so wonderful. Absolutely, I'm a fan of the Mothman. If you're a fan of the Mothman, definitely one to pick up. If you got Fallout first, you can get 50% off of the Encampment Bridge. Uh, that might be something to pick up, especially for 250. Ooh, 25% off of the Sawtooth bundle. Normally 1800, but you can get it uh, for 1350. Uh, like I said, I always fil film these at work, and I'm sitting on lunch right now, so if you hear noise, it's just people walking in and out of the room. Um, but then we got Blood Eagle Standard, the Sawtooth Outfit, Shattering Teeth, Backpack Flare, the Broken Foot Locker, Loot Blag, the Blood Eagle Throne, the Skull Tower, and the Sawtooth Mask. Like I said, this when this came out, I'm like, oh, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Eh, I'm not going to say it a third time. I'm not going to wish that upon anybody, but absolutely cool bundle, especially for 25% off. Uh, so we still have one week left um, until November the 5th, I think it is, uh, to get the uh, Pterosaurus. And then this week we have the Red Mr. Fuzzies bit. And now as far as it goes, sometimes we have some deals over here. So we still got the catch up. And then we have Unlockable for 1200 Okay, for that. Then we have the Fallout First Season 6 and 7 catch up. Uh, for eighteen hundred, I don't know. There's there's some stuff there, but I don't know if it's there enough there there for me. But if you didn't know about this, if you do have Fallout First, there's a little section over here that you can go to and check out to see what they have. Uh, now I don't think with the Fallout First trial that you get access to these deals. I can neither confirm. Well, actually, you know what? I can confirm. I can confirm or deny this right now. Uh, because this character does not claim anything on here, but we can do that right now. Look at there. We just got that, so we have access to the scrap box and that. But now do we have access? No, we do not have access to any of this with the Fallout First trial. This is something I did pick up uh, that came out that I picked up on my main character because I like the look of it and I didn't have it. Uh, but this last week, the retro alien movie bit... But yeah, if you got Fallout First, make sure to check this little section out over here on Fallout First. You never know what you're going to find on there. Like, you got the contemporary porch for $250. Uh, and there's a bunch of cool little things on here. Um, like, the Wavy Willards, you can actually interact with that. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff that, uh, you know, people look for. I mean, the Chandelier, uh, I've seen it in a couple of the top five camp builds. So, and this Mr. Pebble Slamp, I don't know what it is, but I absolutely love it. But yeah, if you've got Fallout First, this is definitely something to check out and just... Oh, they got the Doughboy paint. So that's what the Doughboy paint looks like. Let's go. Um, but yeah, so like um, to me personally, if you've got Fallout first, 
definitely check it out. Is it worth getting Fallout first to have some of these deals? It really depends if there's anything there there for you that you've been looking for. Like the Explorer backpack is definitely something that some folks out there in the wasteland absolutely love to death. Um, and they've been looking for. And so that's the thing about it. To me, I like Fallout first. It's a way to support Fallout 76. And also it gives me a benefit to be able to use uh, the scrap for the junk and for ammo store and stuff in there. Also access to the private worlds. And let's be real, private worlds during Spooky Scorched or the Holiday Scorched or Treasure Hunters is an absolute great and wonderful thing. As well as that score boost and everything that comes with it. As well as Fallout first. Remember, you get, I think it's 1650 atoms a month. So it's really nice, especially if you're a person that buys uh, atoms. So, you know, or stuff off of the atomic shop because you're basically spending, you know, for me, I get it a year. It's like eight bucks, but depending on where you live in the world, it could be more like 15 or 20, $25. Um, so to me personally, it's, you get, if it's 16 50, that's, you know, $16 and 50 cents that I would be spending on atoms anyways. So it's worth it to me, but not worth it to everybody. But yeah, let me know in the comment section below if Bethesda or Double Eleven or anybody got you for any atoms this week. Y'all have a great and wonderful day out there in the wasteland. Seriously, thank you so much to the channel members for the continued support. We will see y'all later in some Red Dead Redemption if I can get the videos absolutely done early. Love y'all to death. Take her easy. Peace.